What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out this Frankenson walkthrough video uh, where we're going to check out uh, all of Frankenson's um, and I will talk about some of the cooler booths and stuff that we're going to check out. But yeah, this is the parking lot. Uh, it's a packed parking lot as always. There's also a Benihana right there. So usually the Benihana is busy and that also has there's a reason why the parking lot is packed. But yeah, this is the Frankenson's uh, building. It's an old Costco slash Sam's Club building. But yeah, uh, we're going to go in there, check it out. And uh, so you guys could see what it's all about. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy. All right. So we're going to do a voiceover. Um, this is what you see when you enter in to Frankenson's. You got usually some decorations on the side there. That's a little arcade on the left. And when you enter, you see all the rows, and then you have these quarter machines and some different cool stuff. Over there on the left, that's a, like a trading card game area. There's a there's a ton of trading card game stuff and all that. It's gotten popular over the years, so it's a ton of Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Magic the Gathering, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can see more quarter machines, candy machines. Like It's just a nostalgic place. And then... Uh, you can see you have uh, that Toys R Us sign that lights up. That's really cool. And then you have all this different memorabilia on the walls there. There is a concession stand there to the right and, and a little kitchen where you can order food like fries and nachos and stuff like that. Uh, and then you see the more memorabilia on the wall, some McDonald's stuff, some old school NASCAR stuff. Uh, and there's tons of, like, cases of old nostalgic collectibles and things just randomly scattered throughout Frankenstein's. You see there's a Deadpool case right there. It's all Deadpool things. And um, you see those bikes on the wall, some different cool stuff, all those mannequins, different things, and more cases over there on the aisles. And there's another Toys R Us sign and jo Jeffrey. And you can see here, here's some of the memorabilia I'm talking about. Some Simpsons. This is uh, some of that uh, Christmas movie, old school Christmas movie stuff. And here's some Transformers, some different Robotech stuff maybe. Oh, that, that whole case is Transformers. And then you got up top, like Harry and the Henderson stall, Garbage Patch Kids, uh, an Ozzy, How at the Moon Werewolf, Biz Markie cereal, a Mr. Bean, E.T., The Abominable Snowman, Count Chocula, Krusty the Clown. Just some different cool stuff, man. Some different stuff to check out and look at. And they even have a random little uh, Dark Knight grapple gun here. Kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, then we take a look over. There's a closer look at Joffrey. And parents and kids will want to take pictures with all those things. It's nostalgic stuff and some more statues and things on top of this case. Nightmare Before Christmas. Check out those Smallville action figures. Different stuff. The mask. Then in there. Just different. All kinds of random stuff. Those cups with the cartoon characters. Some Indiana Jones in there. And just random cool stuff. And then over here they have some of those cutouts. You'll see at like movie theaters and stuff. For movie premieres. Then on the wall here they have this. BMX bike collection, some different BMX bikes, lowrider bikes, you know, SoCal, so just some different cool stuff. All right, so some of the stuff you'll see in Frankenstein's is different anime stuff, some different Band Presto statues and Bandai and stuff like that. Again, more cards and Pokemon stuff, Hot Wheels, random stuff, a, a lot of pops and a lot of anime, um, especially in the last couple of years, anime has really taken off and so you can see a ton of different anime and more pops. So that is a majority of what you'll see. But you'll see a little bit of everything in Frank and Sons. Um, more card game stuff. You see things like that, which is like a custom booth where they make like uh, um, a cup. Uh, what are the things called? The freaking the cardboard things that you put your cup on? Why am I blanking on that? on tables and things, whatever. You see different random handmade stuff and, and you know, custom-made stuff. You see signings, like, right there. Got a dude from American Me doing a, doing random autograph signing pictures. Um, so they'll have those every once in a while. 
and yeah, different anything really you could imagine. Um, more trading card game stuff, but like plushies, clothes, custom clothes, uh, uh, comics, uh, comic sleeves, comic covers, things to protect your collectibles. Um, obviously, hot toys, statues, import figures, Marvel Legends, things you'll find at retail stores. Anything you could think of collectible you you'll probably find it at frankenstein's which is cool um you can find some good deals but for the most part on here art prints like there's a ton of custom art art prints and stuff like that you can find two old dvds blu-rays 4k vhs's video games i mean everything but anyway what was i saying uh, you can find some good deals uh a lot of it is you know, sold at market price, eBay prices, you know, I'm not going to lie, a lot of it is, but you can find some, some grails, you can find the odd deal here and there, you can see there's clothing stuff, lounge fly bags, sports stuff, they have a whole row dedicated to sports, like wrestling, uh, football, baseball, basketball, all kinds of stuff, um, and that's trading cards, or uh, merchandise, uh, jerseys, you know, is autographs pretty much anything you could think of lanyards all kinds of stuff you could find and this whole aisle is dedicated to that kind of stuff sports and everything so it's pretty wild you see there's some diamonds some some diamond select um more trading cards uh so yeah just anything you could think of you could find it there whole mcfarland toys booth they have random old releases exclusives you know always being sold uh second hand so you know, you you could expect market prices, eBay prices and stuff like that. Some more jerseys and things. Yeah. So a ton of cool stuff, a ton of stuff you wouldn't find in other places. So that's cool. You know, it may not be the best deals, but it is a lot of stuff that you normally wouldn't find just in any old shop or, you know, you'd have to look for it on eBay or online somewhere. And here is just available. You can haggle with the owners, you know, that old school stuff. You see there, shop and a customer, a shop owner and a customer talking. Like, that's kind of cool. It's cool to, to kind of have that old school kind of buying where you can haggle, you can connect with the shop owner and things like that and bond over your hobby. So that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, so some more sports, different uh, throw blankets and towels, different all kinds of stuff. And then back here, you see they have these old NASCAR uh, covers. And in the back is like the trading card game area too. There's a lot of trading card game stuff back here, like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering. That's what all the lining of the back wall is, a lot of that. You see more here, more custom art and uh, uh, T-shirts and things. And so... A whole a whole booth dedicated to lounge fly bags, Funko bags, that kind of stuff. So there's stuff here for your girl too, you know. If your girl collects, you know, the, the lounge fly bags or whatever, or they have Starbucks cups. Pretty much anything that's collectible that can be resold, they have it here. So it's pretty cool, man. Some little figures there from Funko and different things, Lego figures. See, here's some more of those custom... Uh, cup hold they're not cup holders what the frick are they man How, why am i blanking on the name of these things uh that's freaking crazy dude you put on your coffee table anyway you know here's some more customs this is like props um costume things uh D, &D stuff i guess um there you see some more clothes and merch here's a whole shop dedicated to enamel pins you see you could buy and trade uh disney pins here which is really cool i never really check those out even though i collect pins now but i never really check out all the pins there some old school stuff different props and plushies hot wheels and this is one of the cooler cases you see some star wars helmets there different figures uh optimus statue that's Ahsoka's ship, I think. Uh, over here, you got some old Kenner Star Wars collectibles. Excuse me, Chris, if I don't know exactly what I'm talking about, feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, some some lightsabers, just different old school figures, collectible figures. 
it's just some cool stuff you wouldn't see everywhere else so all right guys i'm not gonna do a voiceover for this whole video just some of the stuff explaining what you'll see some of the cooler stuff i'll slow down and go through but i'm gonna speed through some of the walkthrough of the aisles and then like for cases like this and stuff i'll slow through and talk through them like here you have some some old uh, bombshell statues, DC Direct stuff, just different random uh, statues and things. and Yeah, more of everything that I've already talked about. But yeah, so I'm not going to do a voiceover of the whole thing because it's a long video. Um, but I will speed through and uh, and show off some of what the aisles look like. And then I'll slow down for some of the cooler stuff and I'll, I'll check back in with you guys. But yeah, enjoy. Okay, so this is one of the more popular booths at Frankenstein's. This is super bad action figures. Um, if you ever heard me talk online about the um, the booth that I help at at cons and things, the the shop that I help at cons with statues and hot toys and things, this is them. Uh, that's Jesse right there on the left, and then Tim owns the shop. Um, but they have statues, hot toys, uh, one six scale figures. Um, Pretty much all that kind of stuff there, sideshow retailer. Um, so anything you could find on sideshow, I think they could get it for you. Um, but yeah, this is one of the more popular booths because they have everything set up. And so you'll see a lot of people come here to check out everything. And uh, you can see here some of the hot toys, the Loki hot toys, Sylvie, that tactical suit Batman. These are some lights that they sell. Uh, for your collectibles or battery-powered spotlights that change colors and things. Uh, that's a PCS 1-6 scale Goblin. You got the Sideshow Spider-Man there. Then you can see the new Hot Toys Doc Ock, which I think looks really good in person. That head sculpt is a lot better than people give it credit for. Looks decent. And then uh, the Hot Toys Goblin from No Way Home. And you got Quill and... Mando on Blurg here, uh, so the popular Cad Bane hot toy from the Boba Fett show, uh, here are the sideshow animated Clone Wars figures, which I think are really good, I'm still waiting, I'm gonna pick those up at some point, I'm just waiting for them to go below 150, because they're going on sale, so that is an old sideshow predator, I think, uh, then you got some Iron Studios TMNT, figures um this moon knight hot toy is beautiful man i did not care at all for the moon knight show but i still want that hot toy i think it's one of the best hot toys uh that came out in the previous years uh there's you got catwoman from tweeter head the side show uh frankenstein maquette or, or wife of frankenstein um you got eddie from iron maiden uh the uh, sideshow uh harley quinn from suicide squad which i really like the colors on the base for here's some uh pure arts masks here here you have uh penguin from batman returns which looks insane uh that is an insanely cool mask out of iron studios keaton batman there here is the uh pure arts catwoman mask and they all have the same uh, holder there. That's the the column from uh, one of the movies, probably Batman Returns. And then you got the Bat Cow here, Keaton's Bat Cow, which is really cool. And the way they have those spotlights on it, man, it really looks good. Here we have the Blitzway, Bruce Lee, Quarter Scale, which is a sick freaking statue, mixed media, nice detail on the base, and this little 
statue here that comes with it. Then you have the tweeter head, 1-6 scale flash uh, with a little newspaper there. Then you have tweeter head Harley Quinn, which is 1-6 scale as well. Pretty cool to go with the Joker that they just came out with. And this is the, one of those sideshow um, J, J. Scott Campbell pieces right there, the his new um, villains line. Then, movie of the week on CW, we had the Crow sideshow statue, which is a really sick statue. Really cool, man. I want to say that's a sideshow Dark Phoenix, an older sideshow figure or statue, but not sure if it's sideshow. Then you have sideshow Catwoman, sideshow Wonder Woman right there, premium format. Then you have some G.I. Joe, Cobra, and I forget her name. Cobra and something. Someone tell me in the comments. I don't know who did those pieces, but then you have um, Batman from the Arkham Knight and a the girl from Predator. I forget her name. It starts with an M, I think. Some more Hot Toys and Blitzway figures and Sideshow figures. Uh, you can see uh, Godfather there. Some horror figures. Some of those new um, Clint Eastwood figures. And some Hot Toys, Bad Batch, Mando line, Ahsoka, and Mando Luke. Some of the Mandalorians there. Casca, Axe Wolves, and um, Bo-Katan. Boba Fett on Throne with Fennec. Some more Star Wars. Here's some DC stuff. You got King Shark, the two-pack. Cable, some Marvel stuff. Black Widow, Taskmaster. Uh, no Way Home figures back there. Zombie Deadpool. That that Hydra Hydra Stomper, that thing is pretty cool, man. And it's pretty damn big. Some Iron Man figures. I really like that Deadpool, that armored Deadpool. I kind of want it to go on my Iron Man shelf. And I hate buying stuff that is just cool and like I have no attachment to because it makes me feel like it's wasting money. But it's not. If you like it, it's not wasting money. It's cool. Then you can see all the different hot toys and vehicles and statue boxes they have up there and just a bunch of cool stuff some enter bay quarter scale figures up there some iron studios boxes there's a silver surfer box Okay, so we're going to stop and take a look at this booth really quick. This is one of the cooler ones, too. Some different stuff here. Um, so they got some old video game stuff, some old consoles, and that's cool. But one of the cooler things they have back here, you can see here's some old Switch, some Switch stuff and some old different uh, exclusive uh, PlayStation bundles and different exclusive releases. Some Amiibo, which is really cool for the Nintendo fans. But then here you got some Jordans, some different releases. I'm not sure if they're all uh, actual releases or some of them are custom, but it's cool to see some different Jordans. I love Jordans, man. I love it, the crazy colorways, too. And then you got some Supreme stuff, which I have no idea about Supreme. Astro Boy there, but more Supreme stuff in here. I have no idea about that brand. I, I don't know. I know that it's expensive, but <laughs> you got some more shoes which are cool, some more Air Force Ones, some Jordans, um, high top and low tops, you got the Powerpuff Girls, um, I think those are the Grinches right there, uh, all you sneakerheads in the comments, let me know what I'm messing up on down there, but uh, yeah, they're all for sale, I don't know about the way they have them displayed right there in the details, the wall looks better, but one of the cooler booths to kind of stop and talk about right there. Here's some cool stuff. There's a, so this old booth has like Disney stuff, different Disney collectibles like, um, 
snow snowballs snow snow shakers what the f- globe snow globes there you go <laughs> snow globes different statues and stuff which are cool some of those uh interesting looking ones that you can find on sideshow uh there's that lakers mickey which is really cool that's a cool thing for any laker disney fan i think low key you need to pick that up man i didn't ask how much it was but probably expensive different uh cool stuff here no hercules stuff man you hate to see it i talked to the shop owner and i was like you have any hercules stuff he's like nah hercules ain't that popular and then i went and cried for a minute and continued on but uh yeah some cool disney stuff man All right, so right here we have Ageless Geeks, which is a pretty uh, popular shop and uh, Instagram account to buy figures from. So if you guys can, check them out on Instagram. But they're pretty cool, man. Um, and then here, some custom Star Wars statues. This is a cool book, too, because they have some of the only custom statues in all of Frankenstein's. But these are Zion Art right here, a popular custom uh, statue maker for star wars uh that's the um darth uh nihilus which was one of the most popular characters that he ever made one of the best statues uh from a star wars custom maker and you have uh assassin's creed there i think that's a licensed assassin's creed i have no idea what character this is but it looks like leonidas with armor on uh, you got darth talon there in a sideshow darth talon i believe and then you have a Mythos Obi-Wan right here, the original Mythos Obi-Wan, which is an insanely detailed piece. Just insane texturing there. You have some custom 1-6 scale figures here, a, Mando, a Mandalorian back there, the original release, not the Chrome Heath Ledger, which the sculpt looked pretty damn good on there. I think that's a third-party uh, dark Superman there. And uh, I think this is the present Toys Indie. Not a hundred percent sure though, but it looked pretty good. Uh, here's some more statues down here, or these figures, figures. Uh, that's a yeah, figures. That's a gladiator figure there. Then I don't know what characters those are. Uh, then you have some statues here, all of the ladies down here, and then uh, Red Sun Batman, I believe that is. You have some random custom figures over here. Some interesting stuff. Uh, that demon goat head dude was pretty cool on the throne. Then you got a little uh, fool Rex there, a little West Coast Rex. It's funny. And some more custom figures and things. Then you have some more statues. Here's the new Mythos line with uh, Darth Vader and Darth Maul. Then you got Soka Premium Format, Mando on Blurg. Uh, some Egyptian statues there. I think it was Anubis. Some more custom statues. This custom Samurai Logan. Insane, dude. Insane statue right there. You have some of the J. Scott Campbell fairy tale line here. Uh, this dude, for, probably from like Tekken or some shit that I don't know. Iron Studio statues, which are always really detailed. So, one of the cooler statue booths. Then this is a pretty cool um, art booth. It's like takes up two two sides of the row, which is one of the bigger booths. He has different art pieces here, all different sizes and different characters, and I really thought those Avatar ones down there were cool. But yeah, let's continue with the walkthrough, guys.
Okay, so here's another one of the bigger, more popular booths. This is like a figure booth, but they have a ton of hot toys and different figures. They have some statues there. A lot of third-party customs here. Um, and then different like retail figures and Marvel Legends and also some Mezco and stuff. But here's some different third-party and licensed figures mixed in. Just some cool figures, man. Some cool stuff that you don't get to see in person at all, really, unless you purchase them. But, yeah, this is one of the cooler. He has a cool setup. Not the coolest shop owner. Like, he doesn't sell a lot of his stuff. A lot of his stuff is just his own collection on display. Um, so anytime you ask him if you want to buy something, he's usually like, well, if I have extras, yeah. But it's more just to come and check everything out, so... You can see all the different uh, different cool figures he has in there. Look at, check that out, man. McFarlane, Mr. Freeze, Jack. Is that a custom Jack back there? I've never seen that Jack before. And then you got um, uh, Penelope Cruz from, what was that, 4? Pirates of the Caribbean 4 there? I don't know. Neo, John Wick, Leonidas, some Clint Eastwood figures. I think that was Perseus back there, maybe. Uh, Hellboy. Beverly Hills Cop, uh, Maverick, look at that, um, Abe back there, awesome, Deadpool statue, Spawn, here's the Dark Knight set up, the Armory and the Bat Pod, and then you got Joker in the jail, interrogation room, the Tumblr, Sideshow Joker statue, uh, Bane, that's a Darth Vader statue, I believe, a Han Solo statue. Then you have some older Star Wars statues there, and that's the Has Lab uh, Galactus. Some horror stuff, different statues. You got a Keaton. I think this is a sideshow statue right here. Uh, then a uh, what does that do? Sinestro back there when he was a Green Lantern. Sinestro, good guy. Sinestro. Then you have this diorama set up with the bank robber Joker, which is sick. And then here we're getting into the figures, man. Some Predator, all the Predators, which is cool. Scar Predator, my favorite. I really wish Hot Toys would redo that. Uh, some Terminator, Commando figure. I want this figure so bad, man. I need that figure. Got some RoboCop, which we just checked out. Check out the last uh, Collecting Weekly if you want to see my review on that movie. Cool movie, gruesome as hell. A uh, little bit dated, in my opinion. Just a, just a little bit dated with some of the way he walks around as a robot. But then you got some old school movies, Indiana Jones, The Mask. Got some Wolverine figures there, Rocketeer. Cool. Some old figures and different statues right there, sideshow stuff. Marvel. Got the Hall of Armors. Some different uh, Tony figures there. Some Spider-Man third party and licensed figures and... Some cap figures. That stealth suit cap is still my favorite. Or concept. That's still my favorite cap, I think. I need to get that one back in the collection. Uh, Iron Patriot. Old school premium format there. Some different statues. And that third party Ghost Rider on horse. Iron Man. And some Homelander. Pretty cool. Some third party stuff there. Some Joker. Some more Iron Man. Uh, Whiplash. Mark II, some cool stuff, man, some cool stuff on display here, more Marvel, I love, that's one of my favorite caps too, the Infinity War cap, very underrated, I think that's the best likeness they've done on a cap, Hulkbuster, Hella, different cool stuff, some DC, third parties right there, Batfleck, that third party, um, uh, what's his name, Alfred right there, from the Snyderverse, dude, that's a sick figure, sick likeness, I just picked that up, I love that figure, uh, the Dark, our Batman Returns, and the Batmobile, we have some third party Jokers and different things, uh, Quantum Mechanics, Dread Pirate Roberts right there, one of my favorite figures that I've had forever and will never sell, some Star Wars, cool, General Grievous, Different Star Wars stuff. Moff Gideon. Oh, some cool Maleficent. 
Pennywise, some cool different random figures down there. Chucky, the Tauntaun, which is amazing. I think that's a sideshow figure, statue. Dread, some third-party watchdogs. Watch, not watchdogs. What the fuck is wrong with me? Watchmen, damn. You hate to see it. All right, guys, so that concludes the walkthrough of Frankenstein's. This is the last row right here, which is mostly comics and things, but and some posters and stuff. That was the trading card room that I was talking about. But thanks for checking out this walkthrough, guys. Hopefully it was cool. Hopefully it wasn't a mess. Hopefully it was entertaining. Uh, but I appreciate it. Uh, leave all your feedback below. Um, if there's anything specifically you wanted me to stop and talk about, put that in the comments. The next time I'm there, I'll do an exclusive review of that booth, maybe. Uh, but anyways, thanks guys a lot. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, check me out on Instagram, Instamade Media, but appreciate it, guys.